All right, guys, welcome to a video here. I want to do a video and talk about something that confused me at first when I first started programming here. And this was a concept that I use a lot these days here, but when I first started programming the first couple months, I didn't really understand it. Or I, I sort of understood it, but I really didn't implement it in with my own programming because I didn't see a purpose of it. So I want to talk today about parameters or arguments, all right? We're going to talk about the differences between the two here. A lot of people, even professional developers, use them interchangeably. But right now, I want to talk about what they are. So first off here, I'm going to start with a blank script here. Now, do know this is a Unity script here. Um, so the idea of parameters are very similar across different programming languages, um, but they are a little bit different. So do know that. Do know that right now we're working with C Sharp, okay? And this is going to hook up to a Unity project from there, all right? And that's compiling. I probably should have done that, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and make a function from here. So I brought back the start function. This way we can actually call the function, but we need to find the function from here, okay? So I'm going to say public void, and let's make this testing. Testing, we're going to take a no parameters or arguments right now here, and this is just a basic blank function. Now what I want to do is I'm going to say debug.log, and let's just say something simple like hello world. And semicolon from here, and then at the top here, we're going to say testing, just like that there. Now I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna go back to Unity here and I'm going to run this. And if you ever used Unity before here, you should expect to see what actually, what I should do first is I'm gonna attach this to something in scene here. Now, if you ever used Unity before, now you should expect it to kind of function properly from here. Don't worry about those. That's from a different tutorial that I did before. If I run this, now we're going to have hello world being printed to the console from here, okay? And again, don't worry about those two. Now, why did I do that? Well, number one, I wanted to set up a function, but number two, I wanted to show you that you're actually already using arguments and may not even know it, right? If I have this function from here, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to remove some stuff here, and I want you to tell me what you see from here. If I remove this, it looks very similar to above. So essentially, you're already passing arguments to a function without even knowing it at the time, okay? So I'm going to put back, eh, let's just get rid of that for right now, okay? So if I go back to this debug.log function, this is a function already written out by Unity, by the Unity developers, right? So basically it's built into Unity, this way I don't have to define it here. But if I wanna call it, I have to give it some information, all right? And so basically if I make a function and I get rid of these arguments from here and I just leave it from there, it's kinda of like saying like, hey, I don't know what you want me to do. I, I need some more information from you. It's kinda of like if your mom asks you to go to the store and buy some groceries, it's like, yeah, sure, I can do that but you gotta tell me what groceries you wanna get. Or if you know somebody asks you to get you a, a, a drink, it's like, yeah, sure, no problem, I can do that for you, but tell me what type of drink do you want. Do you want coffee, do you want water, right? So that's what these parameters are. That's why we get errors if they're not there. Now, of course, right now what we're dealing with Unity and different programming languages are a little bit different. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now here is I'm going to, let's go ahead and take in one parameter with this function from here, this testing function. And I'm going to say, it's gonna be a string, and let's take in a name. All right. Now, this name here, this can be unique. This doesn't have to be this. It, the string is a type here, so this is important. The name can be anything, right? I can put one in the A spot right there. That really doesn't matter, okay? The name is the name of the variable. This is the type right there. And what I'll do is I'll just go into print out the, eh, let's go, hello, and then plus name from here. So what I can do is I can take in arguments to help me out with my function from here. And then of course, if I call this from here, I'll say something like uh, zdev9. Cool. And then if I run this program, we should see hello zdev9. And we're going to run it. And we see we have hello zdev9, which is the name of this YouTube channel, right? So that's good and all, right? I can take an information from here and I can assign it, I can use it within this function. And of course, if I don't get rid of, if, excuse me, if I get rid of this here, I don't provide that information, I'm gonna run into an error because again, it's saying, hey, I can do this thing for you, but you gotta tell me what you want me to do, all right? So that's why we have that there. Now, when I first start programming here, I would think, okay, you know, I just won't use it. I'll just define a variable at the top here. I'll just say something like, you know, uh, string name of user, and I'll set that equal to zdev9 at the top. This way I don't have to worry about any of this parameters or any of this string type, you know, anything, any arguments or parameters from there. So that's a very naive way to think about programming because when you're passing information between classes, between scripts, between even different services like APIs, like if you're pulling information down from a server, sometimes you don't have access to this information or sometimes it's being assigned at runtime from there or sometimes you don't know how many, how, how long the list is going to be. So you don't want to just declare variables from here. Oftentimes you want to have this function 
being declared here and then it's taking in information from another script or something like that there okay and i know it's a little bit vague right now here but if i was to design another script or make a call to a database server this video would go on a lot longer so just kind of keep that in mind here that you don't always have access to that information it might also do something to this information too it might also take in say a username and then add that to the screen there so like if we have uh in one of my courses i teach a a, a class on how to get information from a database server so if we're pulling down all that information from here maybe we want to take in a name and then print this screen like you know uh username whatever sniper his high score is 999 username jim his high score is 500 from here so we want to take in that as an argument and then print that to the screen from there or print that to a canvas from there okay so hopefully that's making some sense hopefully that clears up some confusion and hopefully that's a different way to think about parameters from there right so it's basically saying hey you can tell me or excuse me hey i can do this thing for you but you have to tell me what you want specifically from me right and of course if i say something like you know name is jim we can also add in more. We could say an int, an age. I want to say something like score. And we can do something like debug.log. And we'll say high score. Whoops. Score plus. There we go. Uh, score. And then, go, and then again from here, I have to change it up here. I'm going to say something like, uh, you know, 87, whatever for the score. If we go back to unity here. And then I run it again, we should see. Yeah, just like that from there. All right. So we have hello, and then we have the high score from there. All right. So if you guys enjoyed, if you guys learned something, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Hey guys, I apologize. When I was editing the video, I actually realized I forgot to explain what the difference is between parameters and arguments. Um, realistically, it doesn't matter a whole lot from here, but parameters are what is defined kind of as you define the function from here. And an argument is what's given when the function is called from there. Again, it doesn't matter a whole lot. A lot of professional developers use these terms interchangeably. But, you know, here's a little tidbit of information for you guys. So if you guys learned something, like I said, be sure to drop me a comment down below. Subscribe. I also have some Udemy courses available. If you guys are really interested, be sure to check them out. And I hope you guys have a great day.